Hello, hey, you good boy. Hello, welcome to my channel. As the uh, holiday season comes upon us, I thought what better topic to discuss next in my truth series than separations, breakups, and divorce. But first, I need to introduce you to someone. He's right here. This is Bruce. Who's that? This is my my new dog baby. So I've become an adoptive dog mom, I guess, um, over the pandemic as well. So if you hear snorting or <laughs> um, I'm distracted in the video, it's because of him. Yeah. Okay. Well, you gotta go now. Can't be in the video the whole time. Good boy. Okay. So over a year ago now, it was October of last year, my partner spouse at the time and I decided to separate. And it was actually a very gradual process. We were married for almost two years. We were together almost five years. So it was a very, it was a very difficult thing to process at the time. And the reason I'm making this video is to help you if you're going through this process, also to help you if you know someone going through the process you have a friend family member or whomever that might be experiencing this maybe this video will help you better understand what they're going through or maybe um, give you some ideas of how you can help them okay i don't know if this is gonna work the whole video. can you go up here so when i was going through so when I was going through the process myself of just realizing the relationship was not working anymore and that, you know, we had exhausted all the, the things we could do in order to try and get back onto the same page, what we ended up doing is what was the really the catalyst for us is that our lease was up where we were living and we had to decide where we were going to live next and we could not decide on a place together that we wanted to be in together. We both just wanted to live in different areas of the city. We wanted to move in a different direction with our lifestyle. So that was the first sign that it really wasn't working because it wasn't an exciting thing to discuss where we were gonna move. It was very stressful on both of us. So then we came to the decision to find our own places to live. And because that is a pretty dramatic thing to decide when you've been with someone for almost five years um, and we weren't ready to say that the relationship was over, we decided to keep that part fairly private for as long as we could. We explained to some very close family and friends that we were going to get separate places but that we were still gonna stay together and try to see if maybe just having our own space would help us figure out what was going on. I was very scared to do that, to get my own place. It's also something that I hadn't really done very much in my life. I've generally always lived with somebody, had roommates, lived at home, family members, friends. So it was a big deal for me to go out on my own, but it was also a very empowering thing to do. And it was something that I know I needed to do. And so I found my own place. I moved in, that was last year. And then we went through the holidays, just trying to be as respectful to each other as we could, but taking space. I decided to kind of spend my Christmas alone. I did visit my sister and her family for a bit um, on Christmas day, but I woke up on Christmas morning alone. I went for a hike, I went out in nature. Definitely over the course of those few months in the winter when it was nice out, I definitely went for lots of um, solo hikes just walks outside it helped me feel it just is a very grounding thing i think to go out into nature and to connect with the outdoors and help you process your thoughts and feelings i think in that stage i was going through shock and um and just i was going through a lot of stress so you know the best thing that my family and friends were doing is just not asking a lot of questions supporting me the way that they they could in terms of just asking me for lunch, asking me to um, hang out and have drinks. And, you know, so I wasn't spending too much time alone, but also they weren't prying too much as to what was going on in my relationship. It was really helpful to have 
friends and family that were not judgmental, who did not need to know all the details, who just wanted to support me and whatever that meant for me. So if, like I changed my mind or we ended up moving back in together, anything like that, I felt like I could make that decision without you know, having to explain myself. I definitely struggled a lot through those months leading into this spring very very stressed and I wasn't sleeping very well I wasn't eating very well it's a big transition to go from being with somebody all the time to being alone and I'm sure a lot of you can relate to that but I also took that as an opportunity to really focus on myself so I started looking into things very typical of a breakup I guess I started asking myself what are the things that I really really like and care about that maybe I haven't been paying attention to so so I was gifted a guitar last year over Christmas and so I talked about wanting to start to learn so I definitely started teaching myself guitar at night and that was something that helped me at night when I was feeling kind of lonely or feeling sad that I could keep my mind distracted, learn something and also feel excited and proud of myself as I was learning new songs, new chords. So it was something that I did often at nights when I got home from work in the gym and it was something I also did sometimes in the morning before work or on weekends in the morning. I took a lot of baths. I sang karaoke to myself in my apartment alone. I wrote in my journal and I also did start going to counseling for a few months because I was really struggling with a lot of emotions that I wasn't sure how to process. I am 35 years old and I have been through a few relationships so I have learned a lot through other breakups and one of those things that I've learned is that you need to give yourself space and time. And I think sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves that if you are breaking up with someone or separating or something that you want to stay friends, stay friends and you know, stay close and you don't want to lose all those relationships that you have built with that person together because you have a life that you've built with this person and you share friends and family. But I just allowed myself to take the time and space that I needed away from my, my ex as well because, you know, I had a lot of mixed emotions going through the process and I really wanted to make sure that however I acted, behaved, or whatever steps or decisions I made were very thoughtfully made. You going up there? Okay, turn around. No butts to the camera. There you go. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that I was being thoughtful about the decisions I was making and that they were going to keep me continuing on a very healthy path mentally and emotionally. And sometimes not everybody agrees with what you're doing, but only you know what's going to be best for you. And again, the counseling that I was taking at that time was very helpful because it was a third party, objective person that I could speak to that didn't know anything about my past, didn't know anything about my ex, didn't know anything about the relationship that I could speak to and gave me a different perspective that I probably wouldn't, I definitely would not have gotten from friends and family because everybody was so close to that relationship. So if you can afford to do that, I strongly advise it and write in a journal because that really helped me start to understand better what I was feeling and what I wanted. I definitely, to stay positive and keep myself on a positive track, I would write in my journal all the things I wanted for my future. So that kept me kind of focused on moving forward rather than focused on what I was going through now or what I had lost in the past. I wanted to focus on the things that I was hoping that would happen for me now that I've made this decision and, and what my future could look like. And that was also very helpful. Getting a divorce, going through a separation, breaking up with someone is a loss. That is something also that I've learned over the years and especially with this last relationship, you need to give yourself time to heal and process all the years and time and emotions that you've invested in this other person. Life just keeps happening. And, and that was really hard for me for a while to understand and accept. Um, when you go through this process, the relationships you have with other people that were involved in that relationship will also change and that again was something I had a hard time processing 
for a while and I had a I had a lot of conflicting emotions as well because as life kept moving on we you know February March the pandemic lots of intense life experiences were happening while this other thing was still in the back of my mind or in and you know in my heart and I was trying to be as stable and as um, mature and as functional as I could be but also felt guilt almost that I was still struggling with all these other emotions at the same time that I feel like I should have been over by now you know a part of that is also social media makes it very very hard for people I feel now to go through this process because you are provided with information that you should not really have and it can be hurtful and it can be hard and it can be you know damaging to the process of being able to move forward or focus on yourself so another piece of advice I would say that I did was that I just um, actually have really just shut off those social media platforms or just blocked out the the information that I just don't think I need to see or I don't think that is going to help me heal and move forward and focus on my own life and what I want and what I'm doing and yeah a lot has happened in this year and you know he's one of them and um, I did actually meet someone else um, already and that was a big shock but right now I just want to talk about how that even impacted my separation and divorce because I started feeling happy and excited and the emotions of you know <laughs> the emotions of love and that really freaked me out because I definitely was still dealing with the emotions of the loss of my last relationship and you know it's a very confusing thing I felt very confused for a long time as well because um, you do go through this this relationship marriage having a wedding with someone committing to them and then it doesn't work out and then that's such a hard uh, realization to accept and so the, and then I you meet someone else and for me that was a challenge because I wanted to really acknowledge and honor the relationships I've been in and I want to honor my emotions that I have and not stuff anything away or compartmentalize it so that I can move on in this other direction so this past year has definitely been a lot of um, conflicting emotions and confusion and feeling a bit lost but also really focusing on how to be present and really acknowledge and feel what I'm feeling so thankfully I can say now that it's been over a year I am in such a great place emotionally mentally I'm feeling very excited about where life is going to go next so I guess I would like to finish this video by just saying that breakups separations divorces are very hard and you have every right to go through a process and feel all those feelings and all those feelings are valid and everybody's situation is different if you're going through this right now just know that you need to just give yourself the time and space and don't let anyone pressure you into you know moving on quicker than you're ready to that's I guess the biggest lesson of all is that you are allowed to take your time and you'll decide when you're ready and when you know you know and when you decide to open up your heart again to the opportunity to fall in love there's going to always be someone out there that's waiting for that opportunity so whenever you're ready that's when it will happen guaranteed and that's where we're gonna leave it for today. If you guys have any questions, comments, please share below. My next video will be more about what's been going on more recently. And most likely he's gonna be in it because he's always around, which is lovely. And I love you so much. Yes, I do. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. If you like this video, please subscribe. I have tons of other videos on my channel if you wanna check them out about all kinds of topics. And I hope you have a lovely lead into the holidays. Stay safe, wear your masks. We're gonna get through this together.